All I want for Christmas is December's recipe of the month, pot roast. Hey everybody, welcome to the Lodge Kitchen. I'm Chef Chris and we're gonna be making December's recipe of the month. It's a classic pot roast made in a USA enamel Dutch oven. We're using the big boy today. This is the seven and a half quart. I can't wait for you all to see how this comes together. First, we're gonna chop our onion right down the middle. And I'm just gonna peel the papery skin off. Now, we are just gonna run our knife, not all the way through. We're gonna run our knife down, almost through to the root ball. Then we're gonna take our knife and just run it the opposite way. And this is just a very quick chop. And this is gonna be the start uh, or the base of our pot roast. So we've got celery and carrots here. We're gonna do the carrots first. What I like to do for the carrots is run the peeler towards myself and then back towards the end of the carrot. I run it towards myself and then away. All right. If you were making stock, vegetable stock, chicken stock, this would be great to go in that. Um, I'm not gonna do that today, so I'm gonna ditch this. We're gonna do what's called a roll chop on these carrots. First, I'm gonna take the end off. I'm gonna do about a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna make it a cut. And then I'm gonna roll that carrot towards myself and I'm gonna make another cut. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out with a piece of carrot that looks about like this. And what that's gonna do is it exposes a lot more surface area. It also helps keep the cuts uniform um, when your carrot is cooking. So if I just chop the carrot traditionally, then we'd have like larger pieces on one side than the other. So now I've got the end and I've got the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down just a little bit so that these are just a little bit more uniform in shape. Now, this is what I'm looking for, uniformity. This is gonna get added to our bowl. Now we've got our celery. For our celery, I've already trimmed these up. So I'm just gonna go maybe a little more than a half inch this is all gonna help build that sauce bright and beautiful, just like you. You've seen me do this a dozen times. It's gonna be a dozen and one. I called for six garlic cloves in this recipe, but I had some big garlic cloves, so I'm gonna only do four right now. If you wanna keep the six in, you go for it. Just gonna give that a pop. That is minced. I love it. I'm gonna put this in our little bowl. Let's get ready to chuck roast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we have a three and a half pound chuck roast here. This thing is amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do to this is I'm gonna take a, a good pinch of salt, okay? I'm probably gonna use maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of salt, seasoned from up high, like we always say, and you're gonna wanna do it aggressively because this is a, a thick piece of meat and this is really the only salt that we're gonna use in the recipe. There's some sodium in some of the other components, but to flavor this meat, you're gonna lose about 30% of your seasoning just in the cooking process. So go heavy handed with it, boom. Give that a turn, same thing. From up high, we're making it snow, right? It's December, folks. What I like about a chuck roast is there's a good amount of fat in it too. Fat is flavor and that's just going to turn into like just tender, amazing pot roast at the end of the day. So we have seasoned this bad boy. Now I'm gonna roll it in that seasoning. You guys have probably seen me do this before. We want all the sides to be seasoned. That looks amazing to me. And we are about to start uh, using our USA enamel Dutch oven. Like I said earlier, this is a seven and a half quart USA enamel Dutch oven. This thing is massive, I love it. So I'm gonna set our enamel Dutch oven over medium to medium high heat. About two tablespoons of olive oil are gonna go in here, just enough to coat the bottom. All right, so um, our Dutch oven is getting nice and hot. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little swirl, make sure that the bottom is completely covered with that oil. And we are going to add our chuck roast. I'm gonna lay this in my Dutch oven. You can hear that just amazing sizzle. And I say it again, I'm addicted to that sizzle, folks. Just listen to it. That's gonna sear for about three to five minutes aside, and we're looking for just an even brown deep sear. All right, so we've been about three and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and give us a turn. All right, that is a 
beautiful thing. Look at that even sear right across it. Um, that's exactly what I want to see. Nice deep sear. I'm going to turn our heat down just a little bit because our chuck roast is time to come out. All right, we're going to look at this just beautiful sear to utensiler. Look at that thing. All right. Look at that beautiful sear right across the top. We've got our Dutch oven that's got the oil from before. It's also got some of that beef tallow in there. And we're gonna add our onions. And our onions are gonna cook for about five minutes. We're gonna stir them every now and again, but I really want them to start to caramelize so we can just keep layering those flavors in that we keep talking about. So we've gotten some great color on our onions. Now we're gonna hit it with that garlic. The garlic is gonna cook really quickly. So pretty much just about enough time for you to stir it around one minute, maybe two. All right, but to this, uh, we're gonna deglaze the pan. We've got red wine today. We're using Cabernet. You can use Merlot if you'd like, but not Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir in my house is for drinking. So I added about a half of a cup in here and I'm just scraping up that fawn in the bottom of the Dutch oven and basically just getting all those flavors to just come together. This is gonna get about two cups total and I don't wanna add it all at one time. You can add a little bit more, who's counting? All right, so that's come back up to a simmer. I'm gonna add paprika and a little bit of brown sugar and that's just gonna help develop that flavor. To this, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. It's gonna add depth and that sodium that we were talking about earlier, it's gonna get about two tablespoons of tomato paste and that is gonna help thicken and just add like a really nice richness to our sauce just the smell, the deep richness that I'm getting off of this Dutch oven. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so we are simmering this sauce together. Everything is now kind of married together very nicely. To this, I'm going to add our chuck roast back in. All right, be careful here. We don't want it to like plop in there. I'm wearing a white shirt today. I wanna to make sure it's white when we finish. That's gonna get nested right on top and I'm just gonna add any of that residual sauce or that jus. Okay, so um, we've nested our chuck roast back in. Now we're gonna tie up some herbs. I've got thyme and rosemary that I clipped earlier. And basically I've got some butcher's twine and I'm just gonna tie that up. The reason I'm gonna do this is it just makes it easier to pull out because we don't need it at the end of the recipe. So we're just gonna tie that together really quickly and that will go directly into our Dutch oven. I'm gonna nest those. Right there, we have one bay leaf. And make sure you count the bay leaves before you put them in so you know how many to take out. Safety first, folks. And to that, we're gonna now take our carrots and our celery, and we're just gonna sprinkle those around the chuck roast. So, very pretty, lots of color. And those are gonna cook really nicely, kind of soak up some of that juice. We're gonna take about a cup and a quarter of beef stock. I wanna leave about a maybe a half an inch of my chuck roast exposed. I'm gonna add the lid to this Dutch oven. This is gonna fly into our oven at 325 degrees, and this is gonna make my house smell amazing for the next three to three and a half hours. We'll see you in a little while. So it's been about three hours. Uh, the chuck roast has been in the Dutch oven for about three, three and a half hours. Our chuck roast has been in the oven for about three and a half hours. We're gonna pull it out and hopefully it's just gonna shred up really nicely. This guy is nice and tender. Don't be afraid to get in there. Look at that, just falling right apart. All right, we're gonna set our pot roast down, kick this burner back on. Gonna bring that back up to a simmer. Let's pull out our beautiful bouquet. See how that comes out very easily. And then we have to find our one bay leaf. Looking for bay leaf in all the wrong places. Got it. Our sauce is simmering very nicely. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. That's just gonna increase the richness. And this is super rich. This is not something that you have to do, but if you wanna just take it over the top, one tablespoon of butter is all you're gonna need. And that's just gonna make it just silky and velvety. Give that another little bit of a toss. It's also gonna thicken that sauce up a little bit as it reduces. All right, and we are at the consistency that I wanna see. It's not super runny, it's, it's starting to thicken up, but my pot roast is gonna soak in a lot of that juice. So I'm gonna kill my heat. The roast is gonna go back into the Dutch oven, and we're just gonna shred it apart, the best thing in the entire world. So see that's just breaking up really nicely. That's a beautiful thing. We'll just rough that up in there. 
That's so tender, folks. And I'm just gonna give that a toss while I'm doing this, and I'm just trying to get all of that Dutch oven drippings, all of that sauce just to come together, those carrots, those onions, that celery, all that garlic. That is a thing of beauty. All right, that is tender and juicy and amazing. I cannot wait to plate this up and serve it to my friends for this holiday season. It's time to dig in. Oh yeah, look at that. It's so good. I hope it shows up on your holiday table. This is our December recipe of the month, classic pot roast. Check it out. Hope you make it yourself, make it your own and tag us in your pictures. Happy holidays, love you, bye.